ASI president and CEO, I have many roles, um, the most important being the, um, the voice and representative and of uh, the 35,000 plus students here on campus. Um, you know, I, and, and serving in that role, um, I meet with many of the administrators here on campus. I meet with President Gordon monthly um, and can call a meeting with him whenever I need be to discuss an issue. I um, also meet with uh, various members of his administration and vice presidents like that. So making sure any student concerns that come across my desks or any um, ideas that students have get communicated to him. Um, and that's kind of the external um, role that I play um, to the campus community and then internally within ASI. And that's kind of more the CEO part of it. Um, I lead this organization as far as, um, you know, serving and as uh, leading the ASI executive staff. So, you know, the ASI executive vice president, the vice president of finance, and our, our chief administrative officer, chief governmental officer, chief communications officer. Um, I also um, appointed the uh, various leaders of our ASI programs. And so I'm appointing them, you know, making sure I keep up with them throughout the year and meet with them regularly. I work, meet with my executive staff twice a week and the various um, leaders of our programs um, every other week. And so um, leading the organization internally as well because, you know, it's a very complicated and vast organization internally and, you know, our very large budget and that budget just goes in a million different ways all across campus and different clubs and organizations. So ASI, um, we collect our student fees. Every student here on campus pays an ASI fee and that goes into the ASI budget and from there um, our board of directors each year, uh, the ASI board of directors which are students, student representatives from each college decide where those funds go and um, you know we made it a priority last year to make sure that we increase the funds going out to our different um, funding councils and funded councils across the campus. So each college has um, a college-based council and, and the different clubs that fall into that college you know can receive ASI funds through the council. So um, that's where a large portion of the ASI budget goes and we want to make sure over the last few years we've made sure that more and more funds go out to the different clubs and organizations so they can hold events here on campus, they can send students to conferences and things like that and um, really have the, the funding and support to hold their programs. Um, so that's a large portion of what ASI does as far as serving our clubs and organizations. Um, ASI, uh, you know, the large corporation, we also operate three buildings. One being the Titan Student Union, the building we're in right now. Um, the second being the Student Rec Center. And the third is the brand spanking new Children's Center which um, is either opening up this week or next week, um, located right there off of State College um, between the Student Rec Center and Lot A. And so uh, ASI, not a lot of students even realize that the ASI also operates those three buildings. Um, and then I talked a little bit about advocacy and, and on-campus advocacy and you know making sure that we are communicating and um, having our voice be heard here on campus, but also off campus is a really important part of what ASI does. Um, you know, we send students up to Sacramento to, to lobby our legislators and our governor and and um, make our voice heard up there. And we also send students locally to visit our legislators um, at their uh, regional offices.